Hey everyone, how's it going? Keith here from Handforged. This week's video is about my process on how I go from an idea to a finished artwork. So I hope you enjoy this week's video. I'll be doing more videos like this to add some variety to my channel. There are several ways you can get ideas for art. Here are a couple ways I do. Most of the time, it's just a random idea. You can use an idea generator. Depending on what your style of art is, there should be an idea generator for you. Pinterest. I browse Pinterest constantly for ideas and inspiration, looking for ways to evolve my style and create great art. This is the one I'll be showing you guys today. I have an idea in mind and I got it from Pinterest, so let's head to the next step, the mood board. My idea is a flower pot robot that looks after an orchid viper. I got the Awkward Viper idea from just seeing the flower down at my local supermarket. It has a forked tongue which sparked the character thought. This is the image that I got the whole idea from. Let's move on to developing a mood board. First, we'll need to get some reference images. Let's scroll through Pinterest and make a pin board. Reference images are not to be copied. They are just there to get inspiration. We are just borrowing from their ideas to build upon. My mood board is just a page full of reference images that give you the feel and look you're going after. I'll get back to you when I finish the mood board. So here is the mood board. I have some different variety on shapes, sizes and design. So on your left, you can see I have the orchid flower I was talking about with different angles and colors. Next, we have a couple of robot designs. I found as much variety as I could to get some different ideas. Lastly, we have some different types of planters and pots. Don't forget to think outside the box. Search for different stuff and ideas. You can make a list on all the different items and words that link up to what your idea involves to search up. Now we have our mood board. Let's move on to thumbnails and sketches. Now, this is where you get all your ideas out onto the page. They don't have to be perfect. We aren't striving for perfection. We are just looking for the best ideas. Don't stare at the mood board for too long. Remember, they're just there to spark ideas and get inspiration, not to copy. Once you feel like you have an idea, go ahead and start drawing. I'm going to start off with the plant. What plant should I have in there? I already had the orchid idea, which I'll be doing first, but what else could I have in there? I started with the orchid, trying to draw a character straight from the flower itself. As you can see, it didn't really turn out too good. This is why it's good to do thumbnail sketches beforehand. Next, I tried a different shaped head and I still didn't like how it ended up. So then, I thought of an animal that has a forked tongue. So I drew inspiration from a horned viper and came up with this drawing. I decided to delete the not so good ideas and move on to other ideas. Like this tattoo style flower with my eye in it. And my favourite carnivorous plant, the pitcher plant. Lastly, I move on to the robots with all different pots, limbs and means of moving around. You should at least have a whole page of sketches and ideas. Don't be afraid to do more. Do as much as you can. My last piece of work might not even involve any of these ideas, but that doesn't mean it wasted my time. You can take these sketches and use them later on down the track to create more art. You've got your ideas. Time to move on to your final sketches. Start sketching your ideas out. This is where you get the forms and proportions right. Start rough, breaking down your shapes, then slowly build your work up. Once you feel like you have your idea down, start a second sketch, refining your lines and adding in detail. Do as many sketches as you feel necessary. Take your time, this is where you practice turning your idea into a finished work of art. I usually use the first sketch to get the idea down. I use the second sketch to redraw my idea to get the forms and proportions right. Then. The final sketch is to make everything look good. The last step is moving on to finalizing your artwork. This is where you get nice crisp lines and do the coloring. Enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions or ideas for a later video, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you want to keep up to date with more videos like this, hit subscribe and the bell icon after to get the notifications. Now, let's continue with the time lapse.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, browse my YouTube channel. Have a great day and keep creating. Thank you.